Good evening, everyone. It is 5.13 p.m., and it is a perfect time to eat cereal. On this channel, it is more than okay and even advised that you do eat cereal at any time of day because on this channel, we are versatile, as should you be. So the story behind this is that I love breakfast cereal and I actually do eat it throughout the day. And when I went into ShopRite, which you know I go to very often for all my food, uh, this bad boy was sitting right here with all the other sale items. It was probably uh, about $1 off or something like that. But I don't know, the marketing team or the R&D team or something going on at ShopRite, they do their job because as soon as I saw this, I bought it on the spot. Uh, I never really do that, but it's funny because I'm not a really big uh, Dunkin' person or a big coffee person. I drink coffee literally just to wake up, but I guess I am uh, team Dunkin' because I'm not team Starbucks. I've been in the Starbucks once, I've been in the Dunkin' about three times. So let me know whose team are you on? But I do want to let you know, Starbucks, I did not discriminate. If you did come out with your own coffee-flavored cereal, you know I would definitely try it because, guess what? It's sugary, and I'm going to eat anything that has sugar in it. I am a bit skeptical, however, because I am not a big uh, mocha person. I'm always very fooled by mocha uh, because it, like, I see that the dark color of it, and I think, oh, this is going to definitely taste like chocolate, and then it doesn't really taste like chocolate. But in any case, uh, Duncan, um, you did well. You got me to pay about, I don't know, two and a half dollars for your box of cereal, so how bad could it be, right? May as well give it a go. Also, before I forget, this is a plug for my new uh, podcast called Ice Cream Hour, where I basically invite on friends and other people I know uh, to eat ice cream, and we talk about everything but ice cream. Uh, you can find one of the videos here, the playlist perhaps, and you can also listen to it on the podcast on Spotify down below, so please give it a listen. Okay, so enough of the chatter. Let's begin, shall we? So, I have my uh, Tupperware container and plastic spoon, as always, and I have my 1% milk uh, from ShopRite because I sort of care about my health, not that much, but look at that. So this is what we are working with here, if you can see that. Um, so it definitely looks like there are some marshmallow pieces in here. Sniff test. Definitely smells like coffee. there's one thing I love, it is drowning cereal in milk and definitely drinking the milk after. Um, I don't know who in their right mind would not drink the milk uh, after you eat the cereal because it's even better than real milk. It's all sugary and delicious, but anyway, I digress. So definitely for the uh, aroma, you can definitely smell a lot of mocha, a lot of coffee, and I do like that they have um, marshmallows in here. So the taste test, It's definitely really good. I can definitely taste a nice big mocha taste. You can taste the coffee in there, and I wasn't wrong. Mocha does have some sort of chocolate in it. I don't know what it is, but I do like the chocolatey flavor and the mocha, and I do like that they added in some marshmallows. And the cereal does have a nice crunch to it. I don't know what, um, what kind of cereal this is called. Like, you know, sometimes you'll have like flakes, like a lot of Special K and Honey Bunches of Oats and Frosted Flakes are like the flakes. I guess it's more of like a, um, like a pop um, of some sort. But if you listen for the crunch, if you were someone who is definitely into crunch, you will like this. Um, for anyone who doesn't like coffee, I don't know why you'd be having um, a Dunkin' Donuts um, inspired or Dunkin' Donuts um, cereal, but this is definitely very good. Um, it's not my favorite. As I said, I don't like um, mocha all that much, but I'm very happy I bought this because it's sugar in cereal and it's five o'clock and why not have cereal, right? So as far as the flavor is concerned, I'm gonna give this probably like a 7.3. I'm not huge on the flavor. It could be more of a rich mocha flavor. It's good. 
It's not thrilling, but it's nice. For the mouthfeel, I'm more I'm more of into the flaky kind of cereals that get a little soggy. I know it might sound gross that you like soggy cereal. Um, this is okay. It's not phenomenal. I do like the um, kind of the crispiness of the marshmallows, but mouthfeel, you know, it's fine. I'm gonna give it 7.5. But for creativity, I'm definitely going to give this like a, an 8.7. 8.7 sounds right for creativity just because this got me in um, right off the bat, you know. There's a Dunkin' Donuts on every corner of every road, anywhere you go. I don't know the statistics. I'll put some statistic up there. Um, but I like the idea that if you're a coffee person, if you're a Dunkin' person, even if you're a Starbucks person, try out the cereal. Why not? What do you have to lose, right? And I definitely am looking forward to having um, what will now become chocolate milk. Um, also, I completely forgot the macros for the cereal will be right here. And um, just from looking at it, I was actually decently impressed because for one and one third cup, it's only like 150 calories, which isn't really all that bad. Um, some cereals are like way higher in general. This is a good cereal. So as always, uh, thank you for watching uh, the first episode of this um, cereal series, which I guess is kind of a play on words because cereal with an S means to do something over again, right? I don't know, cereal series. But guys, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe um, for more sweet uh, videos. And please let me know, obviously, if you have any recommendations on what cereals I should try next. Uh, check out my other channels uh, where I eat ice cream, Pop-Tarts, and cookies, and really anything with sugar. Uh, I love making these videos. I hope uh, you enjoyed watching them. And as always, uh, I hope this was an opportunity for you to turn your mind off, because this was certainly an opportunity for me to turn my stomach on. Um, so with that, I'll see you next time.